everyone, it's Miss Ha. I'm glad you're here to join me in my temporary dark space science lab living room and with my altar to share in some breathing and meditation today. I have some matches. I really like to use them to light candles. Do you have candles in your home? You've got to be careful with them and make sure that you have a grown-up's permission or supervision and or supervision. Something that's so special about lighting candles and um, or lighting a match and seeing fire is it gives off different types of energy. Can you think of two different types of energy that it gives off? One of them I can feel. Feels kind of warm, right? That's heat. And the other I can see and it helps me see in the dark and that's light. You're right. This gives off heat and light. And before electricity, people use candles. Well, we've been talking a lot about our creativity, what we want to make time for, and our gratitude. They're all really important habits to cultivate and things we've been practicing in the Dark Space Science Lab. So today on my little whiteboard, I have a prompt. And I'm going to be thinking about this during my breathing and meditation and during a journaling practice I'm going to do. And it's I am grateful for. I'm going to leave this here because it's going to help me complete my sentence. Today I want to show you some different journals that I have. This one's called the Wild Unknown Journal. And some of you have seen it before in the Dark Space Science Lab. And one of the reasons I like it is because... There's different pictures and word prompts. I get really creative with coloring. Maybe I'm writing the same thing again and again. And I like to live in my imagination here. This was kind of like a cooking notebook, but I decided to use it differently. There were recipes and lines. I wrote my gratitude in here. Schedules, concept mapping, just like we do in the science lab. This is a pie chart. I do a lot of concept maps to record my ideas because it allows me to keep going and going with different words. But even if you don't have a journal, you can record anywhere, really. So I'm using the back of my Trader Joe's bag. Do you recognize this from last time? We cut it up together. And I'm going to think about what I'm grateful for after my breathing and meditation. So the breathing spirit guide is here with us again today. And the spirit guide will be guiding us in some meditation. And after I do the breathing and meditation, I'm going to record what I am grateful for. And this part's really important using paper and pencil or marker, writing it down here, or you can type a note, but I really want you to write it. This time you're gonna write it. So breathing spirit guide, I welcome you, I'm ready, and then I'm gonna record. Oh, thank you for letting me join again today. It's so nice to be here with you. Well, I think it'll be cool if we do a little exercise on breathing and meditation with gratitude as our focus. What do you think, Miss Ha? That makes my heart expand. Oh, okay. Well, how about this for an idea? The universe supports us. It has our back and it gives us what we give it energetically. So that's why it's important to give happiness, kindness, sharing. All of these things are great because then the universe will provide more of that for us. <sighs> it's like an exchange. Completely. It's like an interdependent relationship. How exactly. interesting. Exactly. Okay. So now we can use the breath to heighten that idea. So if we inhale and ask the universe for love as we inhale, when we exhale and fill up, we can share that love with the world. So our breath meditation today is this. As we inhale, let's thank the universe for the love. And when we exhale, let's share it with the world. So on the inhale, we say, thank you for this love. And on the exhale, we say, I share it with the world. 
Thank you for this love. I share it with the world. Inhale through the nose and say, I thank you for this love. Exhale through the nose, I share it with the world. Two more times. Thank you for this love. I share it with the world. Last one. Thank you for this love. I share it with the world. Sometimes during breathing and meditation, I get ideas right away, and now it's time to record. So in your notebook or on your scrap paper, this is when you record, and I'm using a Sharpie. You can use a paper, pencil, pen, whatever you have, crayon. Can you read my message? This is what I felt when I was breathing with the breathing spirit guide. I am grateful for mother nature. She gives me what I need. When I write something down, it helps me build a habit and a habit is something that I wanna do kind of again and again. It's part of my mindset, it's how I operate. And when I share my gratitude and when I record my gratitude, I not only feel better, but I also notice the things that I'm grateful for. I'm so grateful for Mother Nature. She gives me what I need, the fresh air from the trees, the water that we drink, resources for the shelter that we have. So we've got to be really mindful and grateful. I'd love to hear about your gratitude, but I'd actually love to see your gratitude. I'd love to read your gratitude, which means you need to record using paper and pencil, or like Miss Ha, Sharpie and recycled paper, or maybe you wanna type a note in Seesaw. But I'd like to read your gratitude today. And thanks for sharing. And remember, we have different forms of energy all around us. And I can't wait to see you for Plastic Free Lunch Day. Bye.